Good morning and welcome to the workshop. That noise you hear isn't static, it's the shop vent fan in the background. It's uh, 9.30 now and it's getting up toward 90 degrees in here already. So what I want to do is get this video shot and I'm going to go to the house today and get it edited and put up on YouTube. This is a video on how to make my resonator caps. You don't need to be buying them from me. I'm going to show you real easy how to make them and in this case I also want to make sure that if I go tomorrow all my kazoos don't run out of membranes. We'll show you how to make them. Okay, now all you need to make your uh, new resonator membranes is a, let me check my measurement, 5 8 center punch. You need a hammer, you need a piece of hardwood, and you need a solid top. This isn't a solid top, but if I put this 30 pound piece of steel up here, it's solid. Alright, then all you do is you take this punch and keep them as straight as you can, center them on there as straight as you can. Go down, 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 and one more. Okay? Now the reason I use a toothpick is I was making a lot of them, I want to clean that stuff out of my center punch, my hollow punch. Okay, so now I have a strip of paper with the holes cut in. So I take this and I spray it with this. This is Loctite 200 middle performance, or high performance middle grade spray adhesive like they put uh, uh, liners inside cars. Okay? Then what you do is you take, I take it and I spray it down that side and I turn it over and I spray it down that side and I let it sit there for, for I think it's like three or four minutes. Then you take it up Put it on your flat surface where you can take your plastic that I've cut out of a Lowe's bag. This is my favorite bag to use. Okay? And then you just kind of start. It's hard to do it with no glue in there. Start on this end and just slowly, don't press a whole lot. You don't want these membranes in the center of this hole to be stretched tight. They need to have a wrinkle or so in them and have some room to vibrate. That's what makes the sound. Okay, and then run it all the way down until you're smooth around your once you get these uh, holes around you can just smooth it out real good get any kind of wrinkles out of the area around the hole and once that's done then with the new ones all you do is take a pair of scissors and cut them out and trim them to fit your kazoo now if you were wanting to make the old timey ones that had the small 9 16 hole you do the same thing with a 9 16 hole punch but you need to space them about an inch apart so you won't get over nine on a, on a piece of paper. Uh, center them down, punch the hole. Put plastic on just like we did here. But instead of cutting them out, get a three quarter inch and you can look down in this hole here and center it over. You get to where after you've done it a while you can kind of know where to go to, uh, put my wood up there where you need to go to uh, get your, uh, I lost it, anyhow, you can cut them out, just center it around so you got just a little bit of paper border around like you normally see on my regular old, there'll be pictures on this too, and then cut it out. And that's your, it's got the membrane already over it, it's glued to the, to the paper, and that's your finished product. Now, why I went to the new ones like we have now that are square and you trim to fit. The hole in that uh, new design is a wee bit, it's a sixteenth of an inch larger in diameter than the hole in the kazoo body coming up where the resonator membrane goes down. On. So actually what you're doing when you put the uh, membrane in there's a you're not paper right up against the hole of the kazoo there's a sixteenth of an inch around that plastic that's still plastic so you have to kind of look in there and center it and you can cheat a little bit by just putting a little bit of kazoo wax on the back of the uh, uh, membrane paper not not a whole bunch all the way around just one little corner just a smidge and that'll hold it in place so you can get it centered so you can take your resonator cap and put it on top of it Let's see, what else do I need to tell you about this? You can try all kind of bags. This is some uh, 
Winn Dixie. This is some dollar store. And this is the uh, Lowe's. I don't know what it is about Lowe's, and it might just be me. But I think it has a better sound than any other. The next one down I would be would be the Winn Dixie. Oh, these hollow points. You can buy a whole set of these that go from way down here to way up here for like 10, 11 bucks cheap. They're from China. You don't you're really not worried about anything expensive. You're not going to be doing any kind of uh, craftsmanship work with them. Uh, they last. I've had these several years. And uh, but if you want to buy a single punch because you're going to do it the new way, all you would need to do. Go to Ace Hardware and get a 5 8 inch. So you can cut this hole and put your plastic over it, cut it out with scissors. That's the really easiest way to go. I guess that's about it. I'm going to get this posted up on YouTube tonight. I hate to be so long winded and absent minded, but I'm old. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. I'm getting out of here. It's supposed to be 105 feeling by noon, and it's hot already. Happy Kazooie. Well, old Doc Kazoo made me a kazoo, and I'll only say one thing. It's Doc's kazoo that I'm gonna play between the lines I sing. He makes them in his workshop way out there 